Um, I'd like to do something and, um, and pay a little special tribute tonight uh, to someone I think is pretty special in the room tonight. Uh, I want to pay tribute to a man who's served our game for a long, long time with integrity and class. And along the way, he's coached and won more games than anybody in the history of college basketball, men or women. He became the first men's coach in the history of basketball to win 1,000 games in his career. And he just finished his career with 1,122 wins. I feel like I've said that number a few times in the last 24 hours. But of course, I'm talking about Coach Harry Statham. And Coach Statham has been named the NAI Illinois Basketball Coach Association Men's Coach of the Year um, 12 times. And in 1987, he was inducted into the IBCA NAI Hall of Fame. 1998, his career accomplishments and achievements were recognized with his induction into the NAI Hall of Fame. He received the American Midwest Conference Coach of the Year eight different times. He was a six-time recipient of the NAI District 20 Coach of the Year. He was selected as a 2001-2002 NAI Basketball National Coach of the Year. In 2005, Coach Statham was recognized by the NABC at the National Convention in St. Louis with the Guardians of the Game Leadership Award, which was an honor bestowed by his peers. That same summer, the United States Sports Academy presented him with the Distinguished Service Award, which is awarded annually. It was awarded annually to individuals who've made an outstanding contribution to national or international sports through education, research, or service. In 2006, the Lebanon City Council honored Coach Statham by renaming the roadway on McKendry campus the Harry Statham Way. The university's gymnasium is now the Harry Statham Sports Center and of course is in his name. You know, so many people talk about the adjectives that we often throw around as coaches. Integrity, class, character. Ladies and gentlemen, for 52 years, at McKendry, Coach Statham has shown us through his words and through his actions how to model the values for our student athletes and for all those around us. Some people talk about these wonderful adjectives while Coach Statham lives them. He lives his values. You know, beyond the wins, the records, the accolades, he's shown all of us what it looks like to use the power of the coaching platform to impact the lives of young people. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd appreciate if you please join with me in welcoming Harry and Rose Statham to the stage to help me pay tribute to the true gentleman of college basketball. We created a special tribute piece to Coach Statham and his bride, Rose. Thank you, John. It's quite a surprise. Of course, I'm very happy to be here for all the right reasons. Tonight's a great shock and special for, for us. But I, I knew John, I met him the first time back in NEI several years ago when he was director of the Division I tournament. It was a great uh, leadership job that night. He crossed the T's, dotted the I's. Things worked perfectly, and I was really impressed. And then I followed him you know, for several years here kind of from a, from a distance. He's done great work here with this, this project and it's going to be tremendous. Just a little time is all it's going to take. But um, my career has, has been long. Um, I, I uh, was a high school coach and I wanted to win a state championship and I was in a small high school and wasn't going to go very far. And so I thought, you know, the best way to do this is to get a better high school. I'm not going to do it way I'm going this, this direction. So I think I'll just uh, try and get a small college job and, and uh, get some experience there and then come back and get a bigger high school. I went to McKendry and um, I liked it. And I could get my own players. That was kind of new for me. You take what you have in those small schools is pretty tough. And so I started out by saying, we're gonna recruit players first on character 
saying grades in third talent. And we got great players. It's, it's, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me. It's been great because of them. They worked hard, they sacrificed, we've won, uh, and uh, great memories, and um, they come back, they write letters, emails, and um, I'm proud of all my players and what we've been able to do, and all because of this lady up here. She's been with me from the very start, and uh, a, a great recruiter and scout and supporter. I tell jokes about her, we used to go to games and she'd say, that guy's got pretty legs, I like him. Oh, that guy's got big shoulders, I like him. And after a few years she's in, that guy plays good defense. This guy can rebound. So she became a student of the game and, and surprisingly knows a lot about it. But she's been at my side all the way through and I couldn't do it without her. Um, I'm really shocked at this award. Uh, very, very pleased. Um, and just, you know, thank you so much for the job you're doing. Uh, keep it up. And I do think that, that we have to stand for integrity. There are things going on that we don't like. And so as coaches, we've got to do something about it. So stay in there and do the right things. And, and um, thanks, John, for everything. And, and not to see all you people. Thank you very much. <laughs>